so tonight is, what is tonight? Tonight is Thursday, January 18th, 601, and I'm calling the regular select board meeting to order. First thing to set adjust the agenda. Are we all set? What? We need to add an item number six to authorize the town manager to enter into an engineering services agreement for the wastewater relocation study. I wasn't here, but I didn't see the folder. See the folder? No folder. Didn't I put in there and share? Folder? Actually, like looking. Me too. No folder. Or maybe it was a chair. Wait, did I put the? Did you let him do it? <laughs> so, so it relates to item number four. So yeah. we have this, like the things of planning and feasibility for relocation of the plan. And so then we have a home service agreement with all So item six is uh, to have the team, town manager enter into a services contract with you guys all have to sign it too. We will do. Oh, right. Did you say no? No, it's just a loan and a half. Yeah. Is that, wait, so what's item six? So item it's the engineering services agreement for the scoping and engineering work for the relocation or rebuilding of the wastewater plant. And then it just got approved by the state and it came back to the town. We we updated it, looked at it, updated it. Okay. And then it went to the state and it just came back. Okay. So it's just so we've got engineering services agreement for scoping for the wastewater. Yeah. And we also our last regular meeting, did we talk about um just discussing the go forward with that eligible grant for the flood? MCAT? Yes. We talked about this is our last meeting to talk about that. Mm -hmm. We didn't really decide yesterday, we just kind of thought we did. I thought we were moving ahead with that. What's MCAT? MCAT is municipal transportation. No, that's not it. It's a grant that. It, as a planning, as a way to get a planning grant from the different one. The state. This is the one where we weren't sure about doing the first. Oh, um, this is the 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 watershed protection program. Yes. 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 We have. We still haven't Decided. made a decision on that. Right. But oh. it's due for the beginning of February. Right. Although the four properties that for the three properties the repairs, the repairs to the bank. Yes. Um. We are working on find a funding strategy for some of those matches, the 25% matches. Can we even talk about tonight because it's our last meeting before the deadline? I don't think the match I don't think the matches are gonna come from the town. Yeah, but no. Oh, it was six it's sixty days, sixty days from the date of the letter. I thought we had one more meeting. Right. Okay. If, well, if we have to decide something, you will call us to. Work. Yes. So we don't have to decide about it. Right? No. Right. Decide. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not. We, I'm not going to use tax. I'm not going to use everybody's money. It fix up. It's just so common. Just I'm not going to be going to that. I'm hoping that sure, there's yeah. going to be another match with funds of maybe. Mm -hmm. If the landowners want a mass, if they want to take care of the mass, we just act as the agent to the project done. Or, or if anybody else wants to supply the mass, and the landowners still want it. Yeah. Well, I can come out and help you for a day. That's fine, but I don't want to spend Bill's money on Bob, Bob's money. So, Bill's tax money on Bob's money. If you do come up with a strategy on that, you'll let us know. And we'll we have another meeting, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any other items we need to add to the agenda? Um, uh, executive session. The police chief <laughs> shouldn't be that long. Okay. Uh, oh, it Under the personnel subsection of this statute for executive session. Okay. <clears throat> One BSA 313. And it's subsection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 
So we have a motion to approve an amended agenda. Amended agenda. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, communication from the audience. Anybody here to say something like not on the agenda? Bill, could you say your name, please? Bill Chute. Thank you. I came in to uh, provide some information about that um, EPW, is it? EWP, over at 609 Vermont Route 15 e Okay. So I have a little written statement so I can stay brief on that. Okay. But basically what I want you all to know is here's a picture. This is where the erosion took place on July 10th. The black mark is the land that is now washed away. Yeah. Right up to the barn. Dang, no, this is the end of summer. That's what it looked like the next morning. Into the railroad bridge. Am I going too fast? No. That's what the highway looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and this is the reason why I'm here to. Okay. Because I believe that the work done, already done by the Department of Transportation along the bank, which is this is the raw part of the bank, and you can see they're working the back. Yeah. And they put a four foot stone. Okay. Well, they had a few leftover stones. So last week they went back in, went down past the second barn. So the estimate and the work scope for NRCS is great, which I'd say by 70%. I talked to Michael at NRCS, who I had invited over originally back in August. And I'm going to say that participating in their program is a great way to save the 15 in the next. Because without finishing the job, that water's had a great for 15. And it will That's the EW. This is this is where it's looking, this is where it's headed right now if we don't stop. So in round numbers, I think their estimate will come down two hundred thousand dollars. So I'm going to advocate for accepting it to use for this property. My heart flies out to the other two properties as well. And I appreciate the listening to me and I know this new guy behind. Okay. I worked hard to try to find out what to do. What was I going to place it? Why right. away? So I brought in NRCS. They actually I got that Beeman's record stand on the bank. He didn't even know about that much. And I chased him down with my truck and insisted. Jack, you're back. Well, I believe you're right. I believe you're right about you got the only open spot in that slap was for the period. But unfortunately, you've got places that are on the river where they fix an issue and essentially create another issue. But that's A and I and B trans. Right. What is this vision beyond us? Yeah, I agree with you. I agree that that's exactly what's going to happen. So they have two shielded spots and avoid the middle of raw material to plow into the river. Yeah, as far as you know, we're going to wash it. But, and though uh, some grant money has been offered to us, the match is substantial. So there's that's why you're working on finding a source for the match. Yeah, yeah. So if we could find a source for the match, I think. Bill brings a good point in that I mean that was a really large section yep. that needed to be refreshed. So maybe we could ask if we could get I don't know if we could get that very grace or like if there's information shared that if it's if it's half cost or less than that, then it'll be a lot less. Because that doesn't matter. like for me, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's a dollar. Some of that oh. some of that was looked at before they did the bridge work. Right. Right. But if they commit to a job with ten dumps. Would be that. So it's it's the word noise. You're looking to speak. All right. Yes, I'm Ann Gilchrist, and I live on the Haynesville Brook section. And 
each time we have a flood, it comes along and comes a little closer. Uh, I believe I can go fishing for my debt now. No, uh, I also have a problem with it getting closer to my well. And of course, it does now plug into my basement where it didn't before. So I have been to FEMA. They say they work on buildings, but not on property. So I understand there is a match. She did mention something about called curves and Nico. Okay. That might be places that we can go and go for this match. Myself personally, that is a bit for me to match what it says on the paper for my man. And the other thing that worries me immensely is every time it rains, it comes a little closer. This last one in December, it took another four feet or so from my property again. And there's always danger of trees. I don't know how many more trees I got left to give them to the dam, but I handy looking at trees. And there's a landslide in back. So they're talking about 200 feet, about 10 feet tall, that they would like to end. I do know that spring is coming. And when spring comes, I have had it before. I have had ice come down through, and I mean immense, like an ice jam coming down through. So that's what I'm worried about. Now, do I stay where I am? Try to sell it? Or what? At my age, I really, really would like to stay where I am. And I would really, really like you to find a way to repair my bank. Thanks. Thank you for coming to us. And it, I believe, I mean, it sounds like it is working on Curb. Curb is the long term recovery group. And at least in human services, there is their fiscal agent, might be an option. Um, but I don't know if they've raised a lot of money for flood or leak station. Where, where is your place? It's right on Route 15, right above the Fisher's Follies, where you repair the bridge. Oh, yeah. That's and the next one up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like I said, when I moved there, I had 50 more feet of bank than I do now. I would agree, you're in another very hot, very vulnerable And door. There's a Take on my property, and like I said, a well, yeah, and flooding into my basement. The last time there was about just three feet, but three feet is water. If somebody had put the bulkhead on the other side of the house, but I would fill it, I just bought it. So we are actively looking for sources for the match. Um, and I think we'd be, I think we'd be happy to do it if we had the money for the match, right? Mm -hmm. That's Bill. So I, I just wanted to comment that I am proceeding based on the report for rocks and going. I stood on those rocks on December 18th. Okay. Water came up to within two feet of the depth where it came over the bank down to the field on July 10th. So it was almost a strong flood. I think if it rained another hour, downtown Hardwick would have been the same as July. So I'm convinced those rocks work and I can keep in business and downsize. Turn the place into a wonderful place for the horses for a uh, trailhead. Yeah. So, we, I mean, yeah. That was really dangerous. Yeah. A lot of time. I'm sorry. No, no, it's good. We're happy to hear from people. And if it's cost sharing that I can contribute to or work by people, ready to do it. Just keep okay. me in the loop. David. He's not in. This is one of those things that keeps me up at night. 
it's me moving out. It's so much. I have a rock in the middle. I think it covers that rock and I'm out of there. Yeah. It takes me about 15 minutes to load them. Because a lot of people are expecting that my road is good. And could get down, but you had to go around the world road. So anyway, for me to drive out, it's a possibility. Well, let's hope that we don't have any big water events while this is getting figured out. So okay, you're just gonna let us know. It sounds like we have another meeting before the deadline. Yes, so we, we have get more information. Yeah, we have 60 days okay. from the 28th of December. Okay. Yeah. Those are two years. Yeah. 60 days. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So can I politely leave? No, now you're here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Close, so close to Tom Beef, you have become an officer. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, thank you for coming. Feel free to, you don't have to listen to us. It's totally <laughs> fine. Motion to approve the select board session meeting minutes from January 10th. Second. Yeah, uh, as well as we must have meetings for you last. What? What do you want? Can we approve those this morning? What? Can we approve the regular meeting? Did I do something? No, no, we just we didn't even really get to that. Well, we're moving on. Yeah, we're just happy. It's more of a happy. It's not getting a job there. There's a motion for the minutes. Was there a second? We second. Any comments or? Well, the answer to your question, Danny, is at the special meeting we approved the January fourth meeting, and it's it's only the second meeting. Okay. Yeah, we stuck them in the last meeting. I thought it was going on the gate, and all of a sudden they were missing. Yeah. Good. All right. Anyway. Uh, all in favor of approving the minutes from the special select board meeting January 10th, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. The town manager report. Tell us, tell us the news. Tell us the news. Um, okay. So we have the for the buyouts, for the state buyouts, we have uh, Kristen lined up the appraisals, the, the appraiser, which yep. um, she did in short order. And was I think within budget, close close to within budget. For uh, that was good. Uh, for the buyouts, for the buyouts, for the four state buyouts, right. we have to get them appraised, and they'll they'll pay for that. And we got an advance uh, on the grant, so we can do the work prior to. Um, forgot what the the agreement was, but all this is going to be reimbursable. You mean the administrative work? Yeah. The yeah. 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 We paid for it. Okay. Um, so I had the meeting with the state um, recovery person that um, has been reassigned to this role. Um, organizing our our disaster inventory, our damage inventory, and getting that to him. We're going to come up with a plan. To get RFPs out and kind of organize our recovery efforts. Um, hopefully that they can help. They still it seemed like they, they were still unsure of exactly what their role is, the B trans um, recovery assistance person. Um, and then there's several task force. I got another phone call today. So the state um, wastewater management division, the Water Investment Division, a lot of the state agencies are teaming up with the federal agencies and they're starting to come up with a strategy to fund these wastewater plant rebuilds. There's ours, Johnson's, and Lobo's, um, and they're all kind of lumping them together. On top of that, FEMA or the state's consultants, um, Guidehouse consultants for FEMA, uh, they're meeting, we're meeting, we have a standing meeting now every other week. To discuss the how we're going to compile all the damage or all the um, temporary work that we've done for the wastewater plant. So it's a lot of there's a lot of like kicking around a lot of strategies right now, but not a lot. There's not a lot of movement. Um, we just got reassigned a new BDMG, which is our person that's taking in all of our damage and creating projects within the FEMA portal. And um, we just got assigned a new one. So getting them up to speed as to 
I'm hoping I'm not. We're not going to have to reinvent the wheel. But it's like government agency we're dealing with. So um, really, I'm becoming an advocate for Hardwick. And that's what I did last week. Um, I prepared for two Senate hearings, one on government ops and economic development. And basically, I went down to the State House last Thursday and just told them what we needed um, and how the recovery was going and where we were. Um, I mentioned mitigation grants for uh, the mitigation grant program for individuals that suffer damage or are in the floodway and need to elevate their properties. So money for that. And then um, a wastewater plan and um, basically how we're going to get through putting requests for uh, bids out to civil engineers. Um, and I'm starting to like be the greasy with the squeaky wheel for um, the greasy wheel, the, the squeaky wheel for um, actually somebody funding a civil engineer temporary position in the town. So we hire a civil engineer to do a lot of this work for like a year to get that funded. And I think that's that's gonna be the hardest part for all these small communities to get the stuff engineered. This is the bridges and the culverts. Yeah, and you had to go to bid every time for right. one, and that would just be a lot of overhead. Right, and if we have that in-house, it, it just, it would accelerate us forward in the recovery because we wouldn't have to be putting those for the bus out. So that's that's my current goal. Yeah, sounds great. And that's what I've got. Um, there's I can kind of bounce into the road report. The guys have been plowing snow. Uh, they were out. This is what Tom told me to say. They were out at two o'clock this morning plowing snow. They fixed a major water leak today. Um, that could have been fun. They were they were loving that. Uh, but and they moved some snow up in East Hardwick. They opened up sidewalks again up there. So it got a little hard for the person that clears the sidewalks. And that's about all I have. I, I thought downtown looked really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The snow removal was good. Yep. Today. There's no way. Yeah. It's not good today. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's not good. good Tuesday. She probably would appreciate it, but uh, we're very lucky to have. Tom drove the sidewalk right. I saw him driving at five o'clock last night. All the way to start right to fix the sidewalks. Like, I'm pretty sure it was Tom. Because, what, how else would you get that little ring there? No, we brought the bucket loader up. Bucket loader? Well, the he, big he, one. He went that. I'm pretty sure it was Tom. If it wasn't Tom, he would do it anyway. Yeah, would. Just to check it out. Just to, like, help, help it out. So, I was. Why do we have a little green machine? Because the tool we're renting that they wanted to, us to demo yeah. that and see if we liked it. What is it? It's a it's an ant. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is down. <laughs> that's not here. <laughs> it's getting fixed. All in. Had a. Well, so um, the CV joint where it goes into the transfer case is stripped out or something and it needs to be fixed. All right. Thank you. That's where that is. Any other questions about the town management report or the room report? Police report, Mr. Henry. Uh, Just getting the report, it's got a little bit more information. What's going to happen? Yeah, so yeah, I had to do that. So that's the full report. He'll be like, I'm going to do a report. No, I mean, the top five, the top five. Like, that's, yeah, that's the same thing last year. Yeah. So you get the full it's page limitations. Yeah. 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 And if people need a full one, they can we can get it to you. you get it. Yeah. So um I just want to talk about uh 
you know, one of the things mental health calls have gone up, but uh, we're fortunate right now where we've got the uh, embedded worker out the dump who's now working with us. She's now moved next door into the senior side. Uh, we've got to be uh, at the end. At the end. Uh, so now it's she's right next door. She's got a doorbell in case something arrives over there just to bring us. She can come back and we can go next door and you know, tell her, hey, we got a call. So it's working out pretty good. Uh, on top of just going on mental health calls, she's also doing uh, critical incident debriefing. And there's two that I'm aware of that uh, right here in town, she's uh, just found out about stuff and gone and done that. <clears throat> so I think that's a big asset for the town to have that right here. And hopefully we can keep that in the future. But uh, she's from East Harbor. Yeah, yeah, but I mean the agency. And North, Northeast Kingdom hired her. Yes. Okay, Northeast Kingdom Human Services. Yes. Okay. So she lives locally here, East uh, Harvard. So she's not that far away. Uh, she she came out one evening to had an incident. So that was pretty good. Um, you guys put on four miles and I did not have a Yeah, that's that's combined mileage. Yeah, that's combined mileage. Two miles. Two miles. Yeah, two miles. yeah. Kind of square. Okay. I think we were that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's it. I think I, I, my question is: Is that going to be able to continue this through VAS funded and everything? Yes, it's right. all VAS funded. Yeah. Um, the problem is uh, staffing this year. It's going to be a problem. This year. Uh, how long does it take for me to get staff? Uh -huh. Oh, not long. <laughs> <laughs> you got my old fire to stash. It'll work. You can do it. Uh, yeah. So you know, for the most part, we're doing. More inspections than anything else out there. Right. Um, no, it's just being an address. We trust it. I don't want you guys out there anymore. So. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're down one select right now. Um, to, took one out last weekend and uh, we started on Sunday and it's got a problem. So they're going to fix it. It's going to take probably another week to get it fixed. But uh, uh, we'll be out this weekend. Well, this one, they'll let you know her anyway. Yeah, actually, uh, Buffalo Mountain get all dressed longer. They put lights on it, you know. Just... Right, because I know you have to have lights because it's yeah. Be there. Yeah, we'll just go with one sled. We'll be fine. Maybe you can come to the I said she is fine, but it's real bad. So it's... <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. He's yeah. down. Back to my ideas. Yeah. Anyway. So we have. Uh, we have the uh, uh, radar signs that are out there. We've got two battery operators. We have three uh, solar. Two of the solars are, are down. And the one solar on Mill Street has been down for quite a while. So we've been trying to hook up with the technician, but we have to hook up with the technician on a sunny day at the right time. So does everyone else that's out of issues with that, right? Yeah. So the solar is causing us problems. Uh, the one up the street, uh, we just installed what uh, August or September. It is it the fact that there's snow on the solar panel? You know, and it hasn't been sunny. Yeah, could that be the problem? I don't know. It's, it's definitely something. not the problem with the one down here because that's been not working for a while. Right. And we we've tried working on that one, and we've been calling the technician Scotts. And back and forth with the technician, and yeah, it's it's been a problem. Okay, so but uh, well, I don't know if we are aware of it, and we're trying to fix it too fast. This is like 27, easy, <laughs> kind of a light red, like 27. <laughs> Can you get those things for the Sylvia train? So the same the radar, radar signs we can put the we can move the batteries. I spent the afternoon at the depot. Yeah. And there were probably a dozen snowmobiles went by in other direction. Understanding Danny's caveat that when you're standing still, you don't really know how fast they're going. Mm -hmm. These guys were going way faster than 25 miles yeah. or 35. Yeah. It was like, zoom. 
Yeah, 35 is way too fast. I understand that makes sense. Yeah. 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 But I would think that would be a great idea because we're going to, it's end to end now. I mean, it is end to end now, 93 miles. So now we're sitting right there. Yeah. yeah. Big, large number of people. Oh, no. This weekend, yeah. their tax is going to be dry 92 miles. And 92 miles is a long way to see when it's not straight. So, yeah. All we need is a post for you to put one up. You know, uh, you know I would say. Look at the little stop signs that they already have. Yeah. 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 So, so, we we could get a poll. I think we should, I think we should put one. On the Church Street side, coming to Main Street, <laughs> and then one right before the hell side. I agree. Uh, my point is, let's pick a relatively short distance. Yeah. And concentrate on that. That's right here. Yeah. Right. If we try to take right. control of too much of it, no. But that would be slowing yeah. sleds yeah. down coming into yeah. this part. Yeah. That's. Yeah. But that should be our focus and concern, in my opinion. Be it. I think that would be the best. Okay. Um, you know, it's difficult to get people to slow down and do the set of the woods. Like between here and each other, there's a bit of a spot. So, all right. People can see it right there. Yes. So, they can do the same thing. Yeah. It's going to be a spot. It's going to be a spot. So, yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. But anyway. And I don't know why the folks could be, but the big fans put it, well, but these guys. You do know it would have to be Tom that puts it in. What I'm saying is that the rail and the railroad's tracks have a depot. They're four and a half feet, maybe they're not tall posts, but they're that if you were on a snowmobile, they're sort of on a level. We want them to be going slow way before they get there. Yeah. Like it's health center. And, and okay, so that'll be a ongoing project. There we go. On the list. Okay. On the list. Put on the list. Yeah. Okay. What, what else are you going to call out in this report you handed us? Mm -hmm. uh, call out the report? Yeah. Are you going to call our attention to anything? I was hoping you were going to do that for me. Well, you just handed it to me, so I don't know. I'll see you later. Um, so like, how does Harvard compare to other? Comparable communities in the state. They don't have a police department. <laughs> yeah, we have. And, you know, that, yeah, that's one of the things we run into uh, with the fact that we live here. We have all the surrounding towns that don't have police departments that end up here. Okay, people are coming, constantly coming to us for more stuff. Um, you know, one thing is the fingerprints. Um, we've gone up. Uh, more than double. I think last year we did 80, and this year we did 180 uh, fingerprints. So it's just a service that you know we provide. Um, yeah, it brings in a little bit of money, but it's, it's a lot of people coming through the door for that. Uh, and you know, just people coming in from surrounding towns, I've got this complaint, and, you know, we have to drive to the state police or vice versa. But um, that's the problem with being in the police department. Being the area. You're de facto everything. Right. And the expectation in the other towns if something serious happens, they want us to respond. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to call your attention to the amount of conditions and release violations. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's only the second page. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll kind of ask the bookmark that for future, you know, I just laid it this guy. It becomes driving me mad if you could like see things, you know, right down on Spring Street going on. It's like, man, right in the day, you're in, you know, I see the guy from Jersey, and I see the guy from Woodbury, got an unrest here today, but and then, I'm not blaming anyone, I'm just saying it. it's so. In your face, obvious what's going on. So, did I just for that? If you can call us with plate numbers and yeah, you see it, we can log it. We yeah. can use that information. And well, I thought of, I thought about that. Um, I, and I not only do we use that information, other people use the information that we have. 
Yeah. So anything you can give us? And that's what it God, and that's what it's starting to be a discussion within the community is that we as community members need to be more diligent in helping with this issue. And I'm all for stopping. <clears throat> it's too bad we're in the situation we're in, but there needs to be some repercussions when you keep seeing the same thing happening over and over and over it's in places in front of like but it's like when you've done this community your whole life, and it's like, come on, man. You know, it's like there's, there's no spoke my mind, there's no hiding, it's no nothing. It's like just doing business, like they're doing business, like it's like nothing. And and they just got us, you know what I mean? Just got us. So next Monday night at Hazen, this is a public safety discussion. You should come to it. <laughs> Good, I should. But, uh, Chip Trayon is going to be there. Kathy Sims is going to be there. But I hate start the pot without any sort of answer whatsoever, other than what the grass is up. Point to this. So this report says that there's a 60% increase in overall arrest last year. Is that what that's saying? Uh, For the 2023 arrest? Yes. Yeah. Is it was it roughly in those same you see these like top three areas for arrest, right? I did break down what what areas were higher arrests. Okay. But um uh, again, these are just arrests. Um can't tell you what happened after that. Yeah. And I know we've seen in previous years like there are, which is, which of course makes sense. Like there'll be some years where there's more of that. Right. And then years where there's less, some years, and then also usually we kind of change our, you know, we adapt to that too, right? So, like, if we, if we notice there's something higher, like driving with suspended licenses, right. maybe we keep an eye on that more. That's so, something. so, just curious about. Yeah, I'm just thinking about here. The thing that I'm seeing violation of conditions of release, mm -hmm. the 20, so the number's 20. Would you say that that's that's not 20 different individuals, or is that 20 times for multiple conditions? Like certain folks have five of them. So you have five people, even though there's 20 actual uh, conditions for these violations, it's only actually five people that got violated. Could be. That would be interesting. I mean, that that's important in, in when you're just looking at trends and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that makes me really happy is to see that you know the highest number on this whole chart is arrests on in-state warrants. And that means you guys are doing your job in trying to put these guys behind bars or trying to correct the problem. My solution is put them behind bars. That's a lot of people would agree with me about. Um, there need to be some penalties for the behavior that's going on. There's no no penalty for the behavior that's happening. They're in fact being rewarded. And it's not causing the issue to get. Any better, so it's how it makes the get worse. You need to recognize that HPD is doing a better job of trying to keep a handle on these people to get these keys. I've had two, I've been watching a lot of news lately from home, and I've seen the same trend. A lot of these small, especially small police departments, small towns, same people, not a large number of people, a small number of people that are, that are the cause of this. Um, the numbers are going up, but the, the players are still, still five players. Uh, uh, but now we're catching on. We're not going to take a slide time because there's no repercussions for, for the punishment. So people need to understand that, that it's not like we're getting hordes of new people coming in. We've got the same old people doing the same old thing over and over again. Uh, those are the people that are keeping the, keeping the sustainable. They're the ones who keep making it happen. Is he very deep? I think I think Opie's right. I think you should go to the meetings. Maybe the, your legislative the legislators need to hear that. If that's, if that's really, I don't know. Why that is. I don't know. <laughs> they should no. Just in any my spirit right up. There would go the problem. You're hitting the nail right up the head, Danny. Uh, and you being a public figure, they need to hear this from you. Uh, yeah. Because you must be hearing it from other people in the community. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm, I'm talking about it in the community, and I'm hearing that people are really, really frustrated. I, and we're all 
pay more attention to it at this point. If nothing else, we're all paying attention to it. That's good. Um, and I think that I don't know if we're going to be able to make the swing in society to ever penalize people for bad behavior again. And if we don't do that, I'm afraid we're going to run away from it. There's no consequences for, for bad behavior and, and illegal things. And I drive 65 miles an hour, or 75 miles an hour on the interstate. You know why? Because I know I can get 10. I know I can. I know that I'm not getting some. The driver 15. <laughs> okay, well, all right, all right, all right. Guys, I'm going to try to pull it back in. Yeah. I guess the only other thing I'm going to point out is that the uh, traffic crash is down. Uh, so what we're going to do? Traffic crashes. Really? Right, down, down. Yes. That's good. Uh, That's good. So in that, you know, we need to a lot of motor vehicle enforcement that's out there. Uh, so we had, uh, you know, half the uh, leading the scene of crashes. Those are in half as well. Um, so that's it's possible. Sure. And then we want just more, more people, more, more visibility, more visibility, more presence out on the way with the HPD. So uh, <laughs> it, it, it reduces practice mm -hmm. by speaking out there. There's actually a lot of crashes they can respond to, even though yes. they're down. Yeah, we've had half of what we had here. So. You know, the, uh, I just have to say it's not this report, but I noticed that um, I know it sounds kind of silly, but there's, I think communication through Facebook, through the, the Facebook page, is actually been kind of cool to watch. Like, it seems like community members engage with posts. I think that it's a great way, especially since we were in the process of getting newspaper back to kind of have it. I think like, I've noticed a lot of people say they're looking at that and they're responding to it and feel more. Engagement with this problem. So I think that's really the cool way to do it. Maybe not for you. Might not be yeah. super fun for you, but <laughs> I'm just I'm just bad at it. I'm just good there. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Good to see you. I'd say when Paul was here, he was great at that on uh, the Facebook page, keeping that on the page. Uh, he would even be at home when the message came in, he would respond to him all the time. And that's, that's what you need, of course, when you're going to do that. You're going to make that social media thing. You've got to have something that's not fine. But yeah, that thing moves 24 7 on you. So, lost ball. You can break it or something. But I think that's pretty much it. You can drag that one out. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, next Harvick Electric Department report given by Mike Sullivan. Thanks, good. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, next up, item one town clerk and treasurer finally chased to present liquor licenses for approval. May I make a motion? <laughs> sure. That we approve first class liquor license renewal for the Clark Sport LLC. Uh, Harvard Post Number Seven American Legion, a second class license for the Harvard Convenience and Deli LLC, a third class license for the Cork and Fork LLC and the Harvard Post Number Seven American Legion Tank, and an outside consumption permit for Harvard Post Number Seven American Legion Tank, and a tobacco license for Harvard Convenience and Deli LLC. Okay. And uh, I'll just note that in her memo, Tanya's understood all of our patient renewals and have no infractions. So we have no complaints. Uh, okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor of approving all these licenses, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. I'll we'll take a second on that. Sorry. Okay. Whoops. Really breaking the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks, Tanya. Uh, next uh, uh here we go again. Select board to review and consider approving 2024 town meeting warning. Uh, here. Um well, I will be approved the warning to town meeting March 5th, 2024. Is that it? 
Second. Any discussion? Um, if Sherry were here, I thought she'd ask about advertising some of the positions we talk about every year, some of the positions that people have to put in. So they're going to be writing and it's a time they maybe we did that last year. I don't know how well it got us, but um, especially for things like tree warden, town agent, some of you know, anyway. Those are four. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, those are Anyway, mm -hmm. I think she brought it before. I mean, like the description. The description. description. Maybe yeah. something about the descriptions, putting it in front of the board. Like these are the. Let me see. Because it's basically. I think I'm participating. I actually know I'm participating three community engagement sessions at the Legion February. That's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Engaging. The public. I I think the next three. <laughs> so I can mention it. Okay. And the uh, it's can the gets to the kids at you can find brought some of the writing a little art. Yeah. All right. Uh any other discussion on the warning? I just want to make a point that the historical society looked at our budget, looked at our accounts, and said, you know, it's going to be a tough year. We're not going to ask for an appropriation. That we don't need that three thousand dollars to get it through the year. We can make it without it. And so, to ease the burden on the taxpayer, we have to do. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I know. Now showers of your request. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a bunch. Yeah, yeah. there's stuff to be my ass. The appropriation stops, and it was not a straight beat. Almost head down. Yeah. 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 Don't expect treats like this all the time. No, no. no. we're not sorry. Yeah, besides things yeah. on appropriation. Yeah. Well, I mean, all the people have a position fine, so. The voters at this point. Right. So. Right. All right. So, anyone else wants to talk to us? Bill, you want to summon this? I could say that MERV is going to make a difference on our fuel consumption. What is that? MERV. MER. So, it's going to take a couple of years, but it's going to take a couple of years, but we may be able to cut that in half. That would be great. I mean, it costs a whole step. That'd be awesome. Um, but as far as the warning goes, any other discussion on the warning? All in favor of approving the warning as presented, please say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. And vote. Carries. Um, next is uh, item three select board to certify annual high, highway mileage for highways to stay aid. So they send us a little yeah. letter here. here. Just saying, yeah, I need mean, to be subtracting the answer to no, and we sign off, and this determines our amount, like our mileage for yep. our state aid. Right. I can motion to approve the 2024. Oops. I can motion to approve the annual highway mileage for highway state aid. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. aye. Sorry. Any, uh, <laughs> any opposed? Thank you. Signatures. That's all of what you got. Well, that's fine. It's just fine. The name right here. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. And yeah. the clerk is going to do the second. They don't want anybody to do that. <laughs> uh, all right. So next is. Um, where are we? Item four, select board to review the step one clean water loan planning and feasibility application for relocation of the wastewater plant, forgivable loan, and it's So, so I apologize if it didn't happen there. Um, I'll pass it around. But let me just say it's the way that it's the this is again 100 percent forgivable if the amount is forty-seven thousand eight hundred dollars Um, it's wastewater facility relocation study. All this application is basically just our information. Um, 
on the signer, and then they go on and ask um, how, how um, they ask questions about our finances for the sewer system. It answers all that, and then they ask questions about building up the reserve funds and how we handle our finances. You know, really that. Who are the funds bank statements? Who signs checks? That sort of thing, and then so. The idea is that this is it's a feasibility and planning loan for the occasion of the plant, and it is 100% available. Awesome. Yeah, we have a couple of years. Yeah. And we, second. And we have a second, maybe right now. Do right you have any uh, any discussion on um, being out this for a little while? It's necessary and a really good thing to do. There were five senators on the last. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carries. No. Um, they're, they're just going to keep the state and the federal government is just going to keep trying to get us money for those plants. Good. And so we can get a solution. And I'm going to be very mad yeah. that we're not borrowing money. We can't put any more burden on the ratepayers. Very borrowed an awful lot of money. Yeah. yeah. To, to have what we had and, yeah. and all that flooded. Well, we still had to take care of all the solids. I know, I know. We yeah. need to keep it running and we yeah. need to take care of the solids. I get it. But yeah. yeah. But we had a good, we got royal treatment <laughs> of solids. Um, all right. <laughs> Next, item five, select board of review and approve uh, a bid to remove the East Main Street Bridge. Uh, it's in East Hardwick. Oh, oh we'll see the oh, oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By silver. That's still hanging on by a thread. <laughs> oh, I wonder where that was. Yeah. So, we decide to the back end? Yeah. we're just going to remove it for now. Um, and we got three bids no, right fine. there. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. I'm going yeah. to make a uh, motion that we. Award a bid to JP Sweet Pie for $112,178. Based on the fact that the events, least expensive, they're more than more than confident. So we have a have we worked with them before? Oh, yeah. Uh, they, they, the, they replaced the washout. Yeah, no, the state uses them a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yep, they did the washout yeah. on 15. They did. We up with Kingdom Gravel and Aggregate, which is so, yeah. the same owner, but that's one of the materials. So, uh, I believe Danny made a motion. I will second Danny's motion. And I will ask this for discussion how we're paying for this. <laughs> this is going to be paid for out of our general fund. And it's going to be reimbursable. Okay. This is just moving at some point. Yeah. This is just removal of the Jersey barriers on both sides of the big coast. Yeah. We're not. Bigger crap on the banks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they'll reimburse us. Okay. It should be a quick turnaround. It's a pretty it's clean, not, clean and easy. It's just one contract. Just one contract. So, and there'll be another day to discuss with replace. That'll be have to be engineered hydraulic studies. Right. Well, it yeah. has to be but that's yes, that you're you're probably looking at a four or six hundred thousand yeah. dollar investment. I mean, Maybe even more. It's gonna make going over standard mountain a little more. To to yeah, yeah, they take more turns, but other than that, for the time being, I'm sure the neighbors appreciate it. I don't know if you, they basically have a private. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I don't they, they might go down. Okay, okay, so I'm not saying we should. Motion on the table is to approve the bid from JPC card. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. And thank you to the Sour Town staff for getting yeah. this through. Just one example of the additional work put on our town offices by the flooding that's just been in here for a while. So thank you guys.
Um, next is item six, and this is to discuss uh, an engineering services agreement for open study for the wastewater treatment facility. So we just did the loan. And so now we've got a agreement, an agreement with all rich now, which now we have to kind of pay the all our sewer and water stuff. I make a motion that we uh, authorize uh, to enter into an agreement with public Salvia to study for the thing for the back. Second. <laughs> All right. Is there a what is it a not to exceed or start to say what it's spread out? Oh, oh, so so that, oh perfect. Yeah. Okay. For the same amount as long. Yeah. Perfect. Any other questions other than my clarification? Uh, all in favor of entering into or having the town manager enter to agreement with all the now we have first lady and city for wastewater treatment facility. Please say hi. Hi. Imposed. Motion carries. Next, uh, select board reports. Reports cold out. Yeah, it's nice out. They're skiing up at Hardwood Trails. There's snowmobiling on snowmobile trails. There's ice fishing. Ice fishing is. Yeah, people are there. All right. Any other reports? Oh, no, oh, never mind. We didn't get. Yeah, it's something for something, but no. Uh, next, uh, new business or old business? Okay. You want seven minutes? Oh, somebody else. Yeah. All right. So, uh, old business? Old business. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think she put this a couple of times and like, what do you think? What we decided was is we can sell property in different ways. I think yes. and I hope we have that. Um, so we don't need to have that discussion. Mm -hmm. Sure, get out of the I've laid out the statute. This right. next meeting, if we're true, be going to discuss that, I would ask that we don't discuss, we, in my opinion, we have nothing to discuss until this offer on the Oh, and it's, what if, well, we could list it for sale. So we can have that discussion whether, yeah, I guess we want to aggressively sell it or right. possibly this. Right. There's a huge difference. Yeah. And there's a huge difference in the in, in the way we present that. So far, the only people we've heard interested in the Cary Road or the Main Street property for people who want to sell for free. We haven't heard anybody come to us for the proposal. It would benefit the taxpayers to have higher. So I don't think we need to get our all bunched up until we mm -hmm. have a, somebody making a some sort of presentation as to what they can do with the property. Because otherwise, I have no, I have. What do you want me to say? Well, I'm just, I'm just, just what, what are we going to talk about? That's it. Well, I don't know what we're going to talk about. I would talk about it, but I was on an happy structure of conversation. We tend to talk yeah. about the same topic over and yeah. over and over again. Yeah. Also, the property assessed to know what the value is at the same time, which is what we came out of the last meeting. Which we could, but I mean, we could just go simply out. That's such a number. We could pay yeah. our appraisals. We could ask our assessor to just what's what the current. I mean, that's fine if we want to discuss that kind of stuff. I, I would like to be. When we have a discussion, I would like it to be your back. Yeah. So, right. so that's kind of discussions to have. You know what I'm saying? He's like, we gotta have right now, just, you know, we have a bunch of ideas and ways of doing things. So you can't make any decisions. We, we, we have determined that we all decided or we all agree that we'd be willing to hire with anything that if it made, if it made sense for the community. Absolutely right. So, yeah. Same to me that there was something at a recent meeting, maybe the most recent meeting, that we were going to ask Matt what, what the value that was. Well, I'm, I'm all for that. Yeah. I mean, I think that's going to be necessary, obviously, in change over time, but it would give us a good ballpark figure. And like I said, late in the discussion last week was, is I don't know, is that like the one downtown 
very valuable piece of property not there, but it's critically valuable for the town. So we may be willing to absolutely give that property to someone that's going to do something. It's going to help our grand list and help our grand you know, right. whatever, something, I don't care what it is, but uh, we're giving something. Yeah, so yeah. we'd be willing to, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be, not like it's saying we be rich. It could be a 20 year agreement for a free public for public yeah. bathroom, yeah. whatever, or like it. Yeah. yeah. But still, we would be totally want to make sure that it was. So we need something to discuss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to discuss, and I think I just might have been yeah. that we're taking a lot of that down. Okay, I like that yeah. idea. If you want to sell a carrier, or then I guess I guess that one of them down to do the right thing, right? Yeah, yeah. If, if one thing the yellow brown project's taught me is you talk about something long enough, but reality really hits. It's much could be much different than much. It's really big. Well, I say, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's uh, yeah, it's good. It's, it's good. Um, it's gonna make a great billboard. <laughs> well, it's gonna make a great place for about thirty people. Or so. Yes, it's great. That's yes, that's what I see. That's here. It is really. I yeah. talked to the guy from Colorado today. Who was just kind of hanging out by the depot when I got there. And it turns out he's moving from Colorado. He's Springfield, I guess, is his home. But he's looking for work in the food business, in the food industry here. And I said, there is some, but give it a year and there'll be a lot more. Yeah, that's the subject. Uh, Eco made me think of that. What's the story with the camper trailer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about that today with yes. the little guy. I can't be sure it's she has. I was say I walked by the other day. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that that's that's a town property? Right? Mm -hmm. that's, Somebody camping there? No, it's parked park there. They're yeah. just parked there. That street is not on our ordinance. After that, it's going to be. It's probably going to be. <laughs> okay. We'll work on that. Okay. All right. I don't know. I guess it looks like. Yeah. I'm going to ask if anybody wants to make a motion on the executive session. Uh, for personnel. Include the uh, person with the VSA and the town team and something. We always shut down. And the town manager. And the town manager. That's what I meant. So, so you said, so girls want to go drop too. Yeah, so somebody said that tax. Wait, who was that? Danny. Yeah, Danny looked at the before you sent him to the reading. Sorry, who seconded it? Oh, okay. Okay, so all in favor of going to the second session, DKI. Okay, opposed, motion carries, if we go, we don't have anything after. So 